Hello and welcome. It is Throwback Thursday here at Hazura, and today we're going to have a quick look at tracking views, a older feature inside of the Hazura platform, but still one that has a lot of value today as it ever did before. And I'm going to explain just a little bit about what that is, when you might want to use that, and how to create it. So let's have a look at my data model that I've added here. I have a simple database, a very contrived example, and it is comprised of a single table called users, technically two tables, one I've identified as an enumerable. And inside of this all users uh, table here, I have a whole bunch of uh, mock data where the role differentiates based on owner or user. Now in this contrived example, I want to say that I want to expose a top level field on my, my root query that is just owners or just users without having to go through all the effort of setting up my filters inside of my query every single time. This is a contrived example. Other examples where this may come in play is when you have, say, a multi-tenant example with Azura and you want to create a combined view that is combining multiple tables together and you want to avoid the nesting logic involved there. Or you have a, a very large, maybe a wide column data source and you're wanting to expose just a couple of pieces of that column and create essentially a, essentially a pre-filtered query, if you will, as your base to be querying from. There's a number of use cases where this would come up, but in our case, we're gonna go ahead and say that we have a generic all users table, but what we really wanna do is expose just an owners or a users uh, root field. So what I'll do is I'm gonna head over to the API field here, and what we need to do is simply, uh, straight under the data field here, I'm gonna to go to the SQL tab, and I just need to go ahead and create a new uh, view. And I've got a, a query here already saved inside of my pasteboard. And essentially how this goes is I say, create view owners as, and then I'm uh, adding in my SQL statement here, selecting the name from the public.allUser, where the role equals owner. When I do this, and I've specifically identified track this, this will create a new table on my root field called owners. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this now. And we'll see now that I have a new top level field. So if I go to my API to explore this, I can expose this as simply the owners table, where I'll look for the name here, which is the only column that I've added to this view. And I'll be able to get just the owners of my, my users table. And given Hazura's ability to have fine tune uh, access controls and permissions, we could actually go ahead and say on a, just a table level of access that just this table is all that I wanna have exposed. And that's already a really powerful feature. Continuing along with this contrived example, I'm gonna go ahead and make a subscription on that owner's table. And in this case, what I've done is I've made uh, a alphabetical sorting on just the name. It is my only column that I have available. And I've limited it to just the first 10 entries that it finds off like off the camera here, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a mutation into my all users table. And by the subscription on this get owners view, it'll actually go ahead and populate that owner directly on this. And this would be a case where I could have a subscription just on the owners view and not on all users or not on my, my users uh, general table uh, view that I would create and be able to just have these very micro subscriptions running as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that mutation here off camera. And in a few seconds, we should see that Aaron Aardvark, another lovely contrived example, is inserted directly on top. So that's creating views in a nutshell. That's how we uh, make a way to, to have a slice of our data pre-filtered or something else of that nature. It's an older feature like we mentioned before, but it's a really powerful one and we think that you'll have a lot of use out of it. There's a lot of cases where it comes in handy and we'd love to see you try it out some more for yourself. We'll see you on next Thursday with another throwback feature.